Mommy, am I like that inside? Yeah, a little more presentable and organized, but mostly like that. And more of it! Yes, and more of it. How do you know that I've got insides like that, Mother? <laughs> Go away now. Good morning, child. Is the landlady home? She's busy. I wish to rent the room as advertised. It's already rented. Go away. Douglas! Excuse me. Never mind, Douglas. Come in, Mr. Coberman. Mr. Coberman. Very well. Let me show you to your room. The rent is due first of the month, and you're welcome to join us for me. Lunch at noon sharp. If you're late coming down, the soup will get cold. Mother fixes it so it will every time. We will be friends. I can put this in my dime jar once I get it turned into a dime. I already have six dollars and fifty cents in dimes for my camp trip in August. I must wash now. Mrs. Spaulding, my own cutlery. Please use it from now on. I will have lunch today, but from now on, breakfast and supper only. Of course, Mr. Coverman. I have a trick. Watch. There. And there. What's wrong, Mr. Coverman? I cannot eat this soup. Why? Because I am full and I can eat no more. What did you do just then? Nothing, Mother. What is he with wooden spoons? That is not yours to question. Sit down and I'll fix you a plate for breakfast.
man. Just what are you doing? Just looking, that's all. That's all? Yes, sir. I look through all of the glasses. All kinds of worlds. Blue ones, red ones, yellow ones. All different. All kinds of worlds, is it? Yes, all kinds of worlds. All different. Go right ahead. Play. Douglas, I told you a million times not to play with your basketball inside the house. But I've been sitting out here the entire time. Come, see what you've done. Your father is almost home. Can you come down now? Dad! Mother cut chickens again today. It's fun watching. That's twice a week chickens. Like to watch her cut them, eh? Cold-blooded little pepper. I'm just curious. You are. Remember that day that young lady was killed at the rail station? You just walked over there and looked at her, blood and all. Queer duck, stay that way. Never fear anything in your life. Daddy? Yes? What if a man didn't have a heart or lungs or stomach, but still walked around, alive? That would be a miracle. I don't mean a miracle. I mean... What if he was all different inside? Not like me? Well, he wouldn't be quite human then, would he? Guess not. Dad, do you have a heart and lungs? Well, truth is, I don't know. Never seen him. Never had an x-ray. Might as well be a potato solid as far as I know. Have I got a stomach? You certainly do, because I feed it. You've got lungs too. You scream loud enough to keep the whole neighborhood awake. And you've got dirty hands. Go wash them. Dinner's ready. It's enough to make an old newspaper editor prick his ears. That young Mrs. Larson lived across the ravine. They found her three days ago, dead for no reason. Just funny kinds of tattoos all over her and a facial expression that would make you cringe. And that other lady, Whiteley, she disappeared and never did come back. Those things happen all the time. You ever take, you ever take a peek at the Bureau's missing persons file? It's this long. Anyone want any more stuffing? Yes, please. Never can tell. Maybe we have a vampire in town. A vampire? These days? Sure. Kill it with silver bullets. Anything silver, really. Vampires hate silver. Read it in a book once. It's poor judgment to call anything by a name. We don't know what a hobgoblin or a vampire or a troll is. Could be lots of things. You can't just heave them into categories and say they'll act one way or another. That'd be silly. They're people. People who do things. Excuse me. I'm going to run some errands. I'll be back. Be good and don't bother Mr. Coberman. Good morning, Mr. Small. Good morning, Mr. Small. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mr. Coberman, wake up! Mr. Coberman, where do you work at night? Where do you work? In a yellow world, or a green one, or a red one? Mr. Coberman, wait here. Mother, what's this? I don't know. Ever seen anything like it? No. It's what I thought. This isn't all. There's more where it came from. Yes, yes. You were wrong, Mother. About what? About all people being the same inside? Oh, stop talking this nonsense. Mother? Yes? Where's my dime jar? On the fireplace where you left it. Thanks. I'm home. Dad, come upstairs. Sure. Why? I got something to show you. It's not nice, but it's interesting. Oh, okay. There. What's going on up there? Oh my god. I'm taking Douglas on vacation for a long, long time to forget this. He's dead, all right. Oh, God. Did you see the things downstairs? My God. Yes, I did. This better be kept secret, boys. This wasn't a murder. It was a mercy that the boy acted. God knows what would have happened if he hadn't. What was Cooperman? A vampire? A monster? Maybe. Something not human. The boy told me that he kept on living, even after all those things were taken out of him. Did he say that? He did. Then what did kill Coberman? This. I think Douglas made a wise investment. <laughs>